Hello and good evening. I want to start off by saying I'm Gerald Reynolds, business management major at Rasmussen College, and this is my presentation on physics. When looking at physics principles and real world example, I instantly think of mechanical engineering because that's what I deal with on a daily basis in construction. The principles that go along with mechanical engineering are energy and thermal dynamics. When it comes to energy, there are two types that drive it, and they are kinetic and potential, which makes it have the ability to do work. As for thermal dynamics, there is bro it is broken down into four laws, but to simplify it, to speed up the process, here is an example. When you sweat, it is br heated, heated up and evaporates. When it is evaporates, it is transferred into the air, where it then heats up the air around it. That is called thermal dynamics. Next, I want to take a look at the scientific method in modern physics problems. I came across an interesting article in physic, on physics.org that talked about the defeat of French Emperor Napoleon Bonbert at the Battle of Waterloo due to electri electrically charged ash that caused bad weather during the Battle of Waterloo. Breaking down the article into the scientific method, I came up with the original hypothesis uh, was that there was an eruption on Mount Tumbar, uh, which happened two months prior to the battle, short, which short-circuited the ionosphere, which brought heavy rains across Europe. I continued to break down the article even further, uh, through the scientific method, but to keep things moving, I will just give you the results of the experimental uh, data, which correlated with the historical records from all other eruptions, which confirms the hypothesis. Looking in the classical physics was my favorite in this class. I can't help, help that I like the classics. When it comes to classical physics principle, it relates to a uh, real-life situation. I figure what better real life situation than my own. Theory of gravitation has impacted me the most because I was actually I was a casualty while serving overseas and had to be medevaced out of the mountains in Afghanistan. The only way to do so was, was that by helicopter. The helicopter came to get uh, got me um, and took me back to the base where I got I seek medical treatment. But I can honestly say the theory of graduation, gravitation had had a huge impact on my life because without Isaac Newton creating the theory of gravitation in 1666, allowing it for to use to be or allowing it for it to be used um, to make aircraft fly, I might not be here to this day. When thinking about connecting physics problems or physics principles to my own experience, I instantly think of work. I work for an electric company. We install fire alarms, cameras, Wi-Fi, mostly all things low voltage. That being said, we still deal with electricity on daily. The only thing that we do all the time when dealing with our stuff is most of it is hooked up at the end. Therefore, we don't have power going through our stuff so that we can test our wires. We do two things that we can test our wires and equipment. The first being a thing called toning the wire. We either put a resistor at the end of the wire so that we can see the resistance on the other side or we hook it up to our meter and send a wave through the wire so that we can see, uh, we, it can be seen on the other side um, through the wire. The other way is we test the wires and hook um, and equipment is we hook it up to the power source, sometimes a generator or sometimes splice into another low voltage item that is always receiving power just so we could test it say we have a fire alarm on the other side of the wire we need an electrical signal to it um, we'll be tripping the fire alarm strobe off therefore allowing us to know our wires are good and b that the fire alarm strobe is, itself is good all of what we do has to deal with electromagnetic spectrum which hosts light electricity magnetism all under the same umbrella. Looking at physics principles and modern technology, I instantly think of transportation and how it is a godsend that allows me to get from, place, from places quickly. I also think without Newton's law of motion, which consists of mechanical force 
acceleration, action, reaction, and the iner uh, and inertia, transportation would not have never been possible. Finally, last but least, quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is all around us. We use uh, we use some form of it every day, no matter what. The top three technology that uses quantum mechanics is computers, GPSs, and telecommunications. While serving overseas, I have been to some crazy places, and finding out uh, finding our way around was all through GPS. Having a GPS system allowed us to be able to do our jobs with better precision. The GPS not only showed us where to go, but it also gave us a feeling of security because our element was always on the map so everyone in the area using our system knew where we were. If that failed, we had a GPS strobe that sent out a distress signal so all of which wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for a computer made through quantum mechanic. If it wasn't for the computer that's um, running the GPS made through uh, quantum mechanics. I want to say thank you. I enjoyed this class. And again, my name's Gerald Reynolds.